So hi, my name is Sarah Parker. This is my project for first year education class. Um, I have my grandma here. Her name is Susie Hooker. Uh, Hello. <laughs> she, she's really nervous because we're on camera, but it's okay. Um, I come down and visit her and she's the reason that I stay safe during Corona and I did online classes this year and I'm staying safe you know, wearing my mask and stuff, and I'm big pet peeve about that. But, so, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. Okay. So, what are your hopes for me during college? You can just answer them honestly. I really and truly hope that you have picked a degree that you are going to love, something that you're going to be happy doing in the future, and I really have no doubt that you will because you love teaching children. So I think you've chosen a wise path as far as something you're going to be happy at doing. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. Um, what are your fears for me during college? Corona. It's <laughs> 2020. <laughs> Sorry, I hate to say no, that. it's okay, it's okay. you have any other? Um, no, because I think you'll excel. You've always, when you put your mind towards something you want to do, you've always done it, and you always strive to do the best you can do. So I really feel like you're going to do awesome. Um, so... Uh, my Sorry, third... I put the corona in No, paper. it's okay. Like, that was good. She'll, she'll love that. Okay. Um, what do you want me to remember or keep in mind throughout college? To continue to strive to do your best always, which, like I said, I think you've always done that since you were little bitty and we were baking cookies together. <laughs> do you remember? I think you've always strived to do good and to always choose what you want to do. I think I've told you this before. Don't choose what somebody else wants you to do. Choose what's in your heart because you're going to be doing it for the rest of your life and you're the one that's got to be happy with the decision you make. So always follow your heart. Mm -hmm. So the fourth question that I have, oh, can I add to that yeah. one? And always know that God has a plan for you, and this is his plan for you right now. So my fourth question for you, I get to make up, and I, as soon as she told me that I had to make a question for you, my question came to mind. Um, where do you see me or hope to see me in 10 years, 5 years, like down the road? Well, I hope that you are a school teacher at your favorite place, <laughs> teaching the grade you want to teach. And I also hope and pray that you find your soulmate <laughs> if you have not already found them. And that you're happy it's okay. and it's it wouldn't hurt to have a few great grandkids <laughs> down the line i just sprung my question on you i know i'm like what do it's i okay. say you know but okay. the to be in a career that you want to stay at and that you're happy as far as your career goes as far mm -hmm. as your life goes i do hope that you find your soulmate and have a family he's a grandbaby <laughs> Yeah, I said great grandbabies. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. And um, and be happy. I just want you to be happy with your life and to mm -hmm. enjoy it. Thank you. Because I love you. I love you too. So, those were the four questions. I hope you could hear us. Um, so now I have to ask you to leave the room. To and, leave the room? Mm -hmm, oh. And I have to reflect on the responses that I got. So, um, I will, I mean, some of the responses I wasn't expecting, 
like the soulmate grandbabies thing was not expecting that um but a lot of it she has been the person that encourages me to follow what I want to do especially I told you guys last class about how uh, my parents wanted me to go into nursing and they were so set on nursing because of the pay and um, everybody in my family has done nursing for so long and when I said oh I want to become a teacher they were like what <laughs> wait a second um, but she's always told me to just follow my heart and do what I want to do so I wasn't surprised by her answers but it did kind of touch me to hear what she had to say because I mean do we don't really ever sit down and just talk with anybody anymore it's always oh we got to do this we got to keep moving we you know you keep moving through the day and you don't ever just sit down and talk like about the future what's gonna happen so yeah it was nice to hear how she felt and I definitely remember to you know stay focused and do my best and everything that she's ever told me and yep she's been my biggest role model since I was a kid because we used to bake cookies like she said <laughs> but yep so that was my interview